Documenting Popular Music presents a special interview with jazz musician Ron Apria, who talks about recording with former Beatle John Lennon, including learning about Lennon's sense of humor. And, and John comes walking in and sticks his face, takes the music out, sticks his face in the photostat machine and hits the button. <laughs> and, uh, and two blinding lights later, two photostats come sliding out of the machine and he hands one to me and one to Steve. And he says, hang on, Jay-Z, so someday it's going to be worth a lot of money. Now, I'm thinking, uh, well, great, but this guy's crazy. Sweet as the smell of success. The body's on his first venture into rock and roll, Apria was asked to play saxophone on Lennon's 1974 album Walls and Bridges. He says Lennon was great to work with, but Apria was concerned about the way Lennon would casually walk the streets of New York with no bodyguard. We would end the sessions often like two, sometimes two or three o'clock in the morning, and, and we would be walking across town, and he would talk to everybody. I just, uh, I was really worried for him. I, 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 I just thought it was not a good idea. Did he not know how famous he was? My God. And this was 1974. New York City, uh, the, the crime was, was phenomenal. I mean, it was, people were getting shot every day. Apria has recorded a tribute album to the Beatles and John Lennon, and he gives the big band jazz treatment to some of the Fab Four's classic tunes. You can listen to the full story as we continue documenting popular music.